Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to the Traveling Blossom Tarot, where adventure meets the tarot and growth is in the cards. If you're returning, wow, thank you so much. I just want to say thank you, Capricorn, before we dive into the cards. I want to thank you for your support, your encouragement on my channel. It's been truly amazing. I am so, so grateful. We reached over 300 followers or subscribers last week, and it's just amazing. So I want to say thank you. I also want to direct your attention over to the community tab where you can get in on this month's free tarot giveaway. So check out all the details over there. And then last but not least, I'd like to invite you to join me and the others over on Facebook Mondays. Every Monday at 10 a.m. I go live. There's a collective message. There's free card pulls for you. I do it a couple different ways. I use the tea leaves, so it's something interesting new. I let you get involved, so I'd really love you to um, join me over there. All right, Capricorn, without further ado, let's dive into the cards and see what's in store for you. So if you're a Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Mercury, there might be something here for you today. Let's see what the energy holds. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, to my mother and father, ancestors and loved ones. Highest energies for Capricorn, please. Highest energies for Capricorn. Highest energies for Capricorn. Capricorn, I also want to apologize for the delay of your message. We had a passing in my family. April 3rd, my uh, grandson's father passed away. So I do want to apologize for the delay and ask that you keep um, him and his family in your prayers. All right, so Capricorn, what do we have coming out? We have Rowan. Oh, number 34 reduces to a seven. So there's that cha um, chariot cancer energy. This could be about nurture, protection, the home. But let's see what it says. Number 34, there is no need to fear, dear one. Protected you are and protected you will always be. So this is about your protection. This is about protecting, I feel like, maybe even your home space, um, protecting your family you know we have that nurturing cancer uh cancerian energy so this could be about protecting your family or protecting your home space this could also because it's that chariot energy it could also be about changing directions or changing something up in the home because you know the chariot is about uh, a decision is like moving forward it's fast forward movement so it could be about changing things up in your home adding um, protection around the home uh, whether that be like sigils I'm hearing sigils so you know it could be sigils it could be crystals whatever it do, may be it's a great time to be uh, doing any kind of protection spells or something like that and I really feel like it's home based but let's dive into the cards and see what else they have to add to the story. Now I'm already seeing, um, they highlighted these three little, what are they? Little fairies or something. They highlighted, highlighted those three little fairies. And what that's telling me is they want me to talk to you about the number three. The number three has been coming out for the, uh, earth signs. So uh, Taurus, Virgo, and you is now coming up for you. The number three we, goes back to the Empress energy. So it's about birthing something new. This could be about your mother too. Being that this number is, or this energy is coming out in the home space, this could actually about be, in your, um, be about your mom. Maybe you're put in a position where you're actually having to step out and, or step up and rather maybe take care of your mother or a family member or something. But I do feel the mom here with that empress energy so this could also be about you finding out that you're pregnant and you're wanting to protect that pregnancy and take care of it and nurture it so could be about that but definitely there's um something here with the mom and with pregnancy whether this is you dealing with your mom or dealing with uh becoming a mom yourself however it resonates this could also be about birthing, you know, a new job, a new career, or anything like that. So take it how it um, plays out in your life. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't, but... <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, right here at the heart of the matter, you're really deeply involved in the community right now is what I'm seeing. You may be attending a lot of um, engagements, a lot of parties, um activities, doing outdoor activities, things in the home. You may be um, hosting a lot of parties or um, something like that. Um, okay. You may be hosting a lot of parties um, or going to a lot of parties, but you definitely could be going to some events. We have uh, the four of wands here at the um, 
present at the center. So the four of wands, this can also be about a wedding. This is a marriage card. So this could be about leveling up your foundation. And we do have that home energy. So uh, this could be about creating the home space of your own, um, creating that family, becoming a mom for the first time within the family. Um, and, you know, we had the number three come out and I just want to get, I'm going to get there, but the Empress is crowning you. You can't make it up, right? Capricorn, you just can't. So the Empress is crowning you. Um, definitely, you're at a moment where you're um, nurturing yourself. You're taking care of yourself. There's a need to protect. And I feel um, a baby. This energy came up a couple of months ago. I want to say for Libra. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra, but Libra is coming through. This energy came up a couple of months ago for Libra. Um, so you might be dealing with the Libra. They're coming through there. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, what I'm seeing here is there is definitely, if this is about a pregnancy or becoming a mom, something like that, there's definitely a need here to protect um, yourself. What I'm seeing is, um, oh, wow. Okay. Okay. All right. What do we have? Capricorn. On the bottom, we have three of wands. So action being taken. Um, this is a time to take action. And I feel like it's a time to take um, to protect yourself, take action. I apologize for the stutter. Mercury is in retrograde. I'm a Gemini sun. So <laughs> bear with me, but I feel like this could be about protecting or nurturing like the, the womb is what I really get a pregnancy here where you're needing to protect it or you're protecting the home for something. Um, this could even be going like going through the home and baby proofing the home or something like that because you're finding out you're pregnant and now it's time to take action. I feel like this could be a high risk pregnancy. And, and if it is, my heart goes out to you. But I really do feel like this could be a high risk pregnancy because I'm seeing a lot of fives here. And with fives, there's conflict, challenges, struggle. There's also travel and movement. But what I'm really getting is high risk is what I'm really getting here. And we'll go, we'll get into it. We will get into it. Um, okay. So at the heart of the matter, as I was saying in the present moment, you have the four wands. So there's a need to celebrate. There's something that you're celebrating here. It's something that you took action upon because the four of wands, we have the three of wands, the four of wands. So there's a level up here. It's something that you took action on. It's something that you were dreaming about. Possibly, you know, your dream come true. You think of three of wands, you see the, the, um, person standing there, you know, with their three of wands and the ships are off in the distance. So it's a dream come true. It's you've seen your happiness and a cause to celebrate and it's being crossed by the star. So this is definitely about a dream come true, but this is also about faith, keeping that faith keeping that positivity, keep that hope alive, because I feel like this is a high risk pregnancy. And with that, it can come a lot of, you know, there can be a lot of doubt and a lot of negativity. And I feel like what spirit is saying here is to keep the faith, keep the hope alive, do what you need to do. Do no, you know, listen to your doctors, that kind of stuff. Listen to your doctors, do what they tell you to do. Take real good care of yourself. Listen to your body too. If um, your body's going to tell you when something's wrong. So if your body um, starts to tell you, Hey, Capricorn, you need some rest, lay down and rest, take that rest, listen to your body, listen to the, um, prompts that you get, all of that. And this is a really, really important time to be taking care of ourselves, whether we're pregnant or not. So if that doesn't resonate with you, it's certainly still a great time for you to be taking care of yourself, eating the right things. And spirit has been reiterating water. Water is so, so vitally important to us right now. I mean, spirit has been talking to me about the storms, but also about the quench of water feeling, um, filling that thirst, right? So do take care of yourself and um, drink lots of water, get lots of fluids, take um, lots of nutrients, take your vitamins. I'm hearing prenatal vitamins. Don't forget to take those. If you have to, one of the things that helps me because my daughter, she's terrible with time, 
<laughs> or appointments. And one of the things that helps me is I utilize my phone. I utilize the little woman on there to do all kinds of wonderful things for me, like set alarms for me to take my medicine or take a vitamin or something. So if you have difficulty, maybe use your phone to set some alerts to remind you until, you know, you get used to it and you start doing it. So a little motherly advice. <laughs> Okay, so yes, as I was saying at the heart of the matter, we do have the, a, a cause to celebrate and it's a dream come true. It's something you've been wanting, something that you were taking action from or toward, rather not from, but toward and um, above you, crowning you, you have the Empress. So definitely this is about something that is so, so vitally important to you. It's something that you want to love and nurture. You feel great compassion for growth there's an opportunity to put um, your energy into something and create something magical and that could be a birth seriously and that's a creation that is certainly a creation in the recent past you had a lot of apathy now this could be about if you are resonating with pregnancy and um, even maybe with that Libra connection this could be about the fact that you were having difficulty getting pregnant you have the four cups here in the uh, in the recent past. And so there's a lot of apathy, a lot of dismay, a lot of, um, you know, just hopeful, wishful thinking, like not even, um, just not being satisfied, not being happy. So I feel like there was a lot of apathy because you really felt like maybe you couldn't get pregnant and then boom, whoo, cause to celebrate. <laughs> Cause to celebrate, dream come true, wish come true, pregnancy, empress, crowning you, the empress. Now, again, this could be about your own mother. So this could also be about um, nurturing, taking care of your mom. You may have struggled with your mom if you are feeling, you know, in regards to this being about your mom. You may have struggled with your mom. There may be a lot of... Um, uh, excuse me, spirit, help me out here. There may be a lot of hurtful feelings. There may be a lot of animosity is what I'm really getting in with this four of cups. There may be a lot of animosity in the past. There may have been that, but now there's this reason to celebrate. And I don't know what it is, only you do. So do you take that if it, um, you know, how it fits. Okay. So how are you feeling about this? You've got the page of wands in um, reverse. So you're antsy. That's what I really get. You're really antsy. You're really um, nervous. There's an impulsive energy. You know, it's it's like nerves. It's not really impulsiveness. It's more like nerves, jittery nerves, um, being antsy, anticipation, um, you know, just all of those feelings is what I'm really getting. It's like you have to slow down, right? Because when the page is in the upright, it's fast, right? It's like... And this is spirit saying, you know, you have to slow down and you know this. So this might be something that's difficult for you to slow down. Um, so you're just feeling kind of like, eh, you know, antsy, wanting to move, wanting to do something. But maybe you know that you really can't. I want to get a little more clarification on this page of wands to be certain. Um, thank you, spirit. Can we clarify this page of wands, please? Can we clarify the page of wands? I do feel, um, you know, just a strong antsy feeling like you're just ready uh, to start moving. Maybe you were put on bed rest or something like that, or, or maybe just, uh, you know, whatever it was. But I feel like you're, you're ready for this thing to start to, whatever's happening in your life, you're ready for it to start to grow, to, to blossom, to create. You're ready for this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at this being clarified by the four of wands. So there's a re, you know, I mean, you are so happy about this. This really brings instability into your foundation. It's like the missing piece of what you and your family, your partner possibly were trying to create. And as I was saying, if you are resonating with the Libra connection, Libra was, um, I believe, facing an adoption and they were getting uh, the calls that the baby was coming. So I don't know if that's the case, but um, that could be Maybe, you know, this is about you having a baby in a different way and not, uh, not so traditional. Maybe you're adopting or something like that. And you're, you know, you're just a little, you know, like impatient. 
you're like, come on, man, let's get this on the go. Come on, man. This is my foundation we're talking about. I'm ready to have my baby here so we can, you know, just celebrate and have a lot of fun. Now, this could also be about a marriage, you know, because that marriage card is there. It could be marrying a Capricorn or um, a Taurus or Virgo, that king of king of pentacles there is strong foundation, but this could be about a marriage. So this could be about, um, protecting your marriage. It, it's all in the home space. So it really does feel like it's about the home and bringing those reasons to celebrate. And, and, you know, anytime we are expanding the family, that's kind of a reason to celebrate. So I feel like you're ready to celebrate and you're just tired of procrastinating. Um, you know, just tired of waiting for it to get here, waiting for the arrival is what I feel, um, which I totally get. If you're pregnant, you could be like uh, more long term in the long in the latter stages of the pregnancy where you're actually told to rest and, you know, take care of yourself, get lots of fluids, lots of, you know, not so much stimulation, take it easy, that kind of stuff. And if that's the case, you're like, hey, come on, man, let's get this baby here. You know, I remember when I was giving birth to my daughter, it took three days, man. It's like, get this baby here. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, so yeah, I feel like that you could be thinking about, you know, let's get this baby here. Let's, let's, um, let's do this. Okay. So in the external influences, you have, um, the knight of wands here. So you're fearless. You're ready. It's like you're, you, um, externally, you know, people are, could be building you up. People are supporting you. They're giving you reason not to, um, you know, worry so much is what I really get. The really supportive, um, energy and externally, you know, the page of wand or the knight of wands, you know, this is a risk. This is a risk taker. This is a free spirit. And that risk was coming in early on in the reading. So this could be externally like your mom possibly talking to you about, you know, this baby is a high risk. I'm really worried about you. I'm really scared. Um, you know, it could be those kind of things just coming in and, you know, just, this is how I feel because it's in the external influences. So it's people, you know, in the community, possibly you do have the four wands showing up twice. So it could be community, friends, mother, father, whatever, however it resonates. But people are saying, Hey, this is a huge risk. You know, um, it takes a lot of courage, man. And, and they may be like, really like, Whoa, really, really amazed by you. But mostly I think there, there is a concern. I think there's a worry or a concern about the, the risk of the pregnancy or the baby or the adoption or however it plays out in your life. Or if this is about your mom, this could be, um, you know, something with all these fives, this could be some kind of struggle with your mom's health or something like that. And, you know, that's playing in there too. So, so there's, there's a lot of risk here externally and a lot of factors that are weighing in. Uh, you could be dealing with a Aries Leo Sag. There is so much, there's so many wands here. I mean, there's an abundance of everything, but there's so many wands. Um, there's three fives, by the way, just in case you're curious. And um, there is one, two, three, four. So four, 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 and five, 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 four, four, four. Fours are about stability. They're about the foundation, the home. Fives are about higher levels of commitment, traditions, that kind of stuff, movement, challenges, you know, if you're looking at tarot or, or numerology, however it plays out. But, but yeah, as fours and fives can be significant as well as the number three. So three, four, five, there's some steps here. I feel like there's slow movement here. Okay. In your hopes, dreams, and fears, you're really, really happy. You're really, really satisfied. You're really, really sensitive. You could be very emotional. You have the page of cups. It would stand to reason that you would be emotional, especially if you are dealing with a high risk pregnancy or finding out you're pregnant, any kind, any of that. It doesn't even matter if it's high risk. It does not even matter. You know, uh, finding out you're pregnant is, it can make you sensitive. You've got hormones raging, that kind of stuff. So the page of cups. So there's a lot of emotions here. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of heart. It's something that you've really, really wanted for a long time. It really fills your cup is what I really get with that page of cups right there. And <clears throat> 
I just want to note that the page, you know, this is adolescence. This is a younger, a younger page. So there is that usefulness and I, I'm tying it to the baby. I'm getting, you know, just that energy of that baby, um, with that cup. Okay. And then, um, in, in the uh, Spirit's advice for you, Spirit's advice, it, it, they want you to watch out. They want you to take it easy. You have the Ten of Wands here. So you may take on too much. You may be one of those Capricorns that go, go, go. And, you know, Spirit is saying, hey, you can't do that right now. Right now, you need to rest. Right now, you need to take it easy. This is very, very important. It's vitally important for you and the baby or your mom, however it plays out. Um, but vitally, vitally important that you take it easy and you lessen the load, not do so much work. Don't, don't put yourself, um, don't be available so much, you know, don't be available for so many parties or so many gatherings or whatever, really rest and nurture yourself because you have that empress energy overarching you, um, or crowning you. And that is about nurturing yourself and taking care of yourself and loving yourself and being kind and compassionate to yourself and others but right now this is really about you taking care of you and this little bundle of joy because i really capricorn if you're here today i feel a baby okay i'm not i can't even like shoot i, I can't even go on another topic i mean i try to go to the mom but the baby just keeps coming in so okay and as i was saying um this does feel like a high-risk pregnancy this does feel like this could be um, something that could, you know, potentially be dangerous for you and baby, because we do have the energy of so many fives here in the um, potential outcome as well as the future is where the fives are. So there's going to be spirit, you know, letting you know that there's going to be struggles. There's going to be strife and conflict and struggles and things may not be that easy. Um, this could also indicate um, possibly a difficult uh, delivery. Um, maybe you have to get a cesarean or something like that, but it could indicate a difficult delivery. And I'm not trying to be the bearer of bad news here. You're already in a, it seems like a very del delicate situation and there's going to be lots of people there to care for you and tend to you and take care of you. You're not going to be alone. We have the hermit here. So your needs are going to be met. The hermit is about going inward, but what I really feel here is the community, the people that are there with you today, really, really being there for you and really nurturing you and taking care of you and lending insight. The hermit is wisdom too, insight. So um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of that there. Now, um, this could be a surprise too. I, I don't know why I'm feeling a surprise, but as I'm looking at all these fives, I'm thinking of a surprise and it could be that a second baby pops up or something. I'm getting, you know, like twins right here, but it could be like a second baby pops up or something unexpected happens during the pregnancy. So when it all comes to fruition, um, it could be, um, more costly because we have here in the future and the potential outcome, we have the five of coins with the hermit. So it could be a little more costly. It could cost you a little bit more. There could be, um, a little bit of hardship there. You know, it could be hard to, you know, meet the needs, the resources, find the resources, but I think you're going to be okay because it, I show this, or I see this huge supportive community around you. So I think you're going to be okay. I feel like spirit just wants you to know there's going to be a, you know, it's not going to be, um, in the future there, could, it's going to, it's going to cause more ups and downs. You know, there's going to be a lot more costs is what I'm really getting because we have the five of swords, five of wands in the potential outcome. These are fives. This is surrender. This is, um, you know, this is defeat. Um, it's what I really get here is, um, you surrendering to the challenges, like you understanding and you realizing that there are challenges and you go in and, um, I feel like you might go inward in and find out the answers that you need, um, to figure these things out. You know, there's going to be, um, there's going to be struggle with finances and stuff, which could lead to, you know, uh, 
unpaid bills, that kind of stuff. But I feel like you're going to be okay with it. Um, for some of you too, I'm, I'm tying it into the Knight of Wands that's here for the external influences. This could also be a meddling mom. Okay. Is what moms don't get mad at me. <laughs> I'm a mom, man. Don't get mad at me. But this, what I'm seeing here is this could be about a meddling mom, you know, like a mom trying to, um, you know, they mean well, they mean well, but maybe, you know, trying to teach you, trying to help you out because we have the five of wands, which is like, you know, egos, um, clashing, that kind of stuff. So, you know, mom coming in and saying, no, do this, do that, do this, do that. But I want to, I just want to see, you know, what I can get, but I really do feel like, uh, potentially, what could happen here is in the beginning, there could be a lot of conflict after the baby is born because everyone's so excited. And this has been such a risk, you know, a high risk pregnancy that everyone's so excited and they're, they're coming in and, you know, offering advice, offering their insight, that kind of stuff, their wisdom, their knowledge. And you just get overwhelmed with it, right? You just get taken by it. And it's like, okay, come on, man, get out of here. You know what? Out out. I need a break. Um, I need a break. So that's what I really feel here with all these fives coming in. But I, like I said, I do want to clarify it. Yeah. It's a power struggle. Definitely. And you, you're going to be feeling overwhelmed. Like I was saying, um, it could be, you know, a mother-in-law, a mom, a guardian, whatever. A person of authority could even be a father with the emperor coming in to clarify in the nine of wands could even be a father or anything but it's someone of authority that's going to come in and potentially cause some challenges struggles you know and it's going to leave you overwhelmed maybe a little bit guarded and this takes me back we started with the protection remember that we started with that protection of you needing to protect your home space so this could be about protecting your home space against someone of authority because they bring in too much conflict too much confusion too many uh well i did it this way and you should do this and you should do that and da 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 da, da. their way is right that kind of stuff so i do feel that um but all in all i think you're gonna be okay all in all everything you need is inside you everything you need to know about being a mom a parent whatever it may be it's inside you go on in I want to make sure that's still on go in inside and uh, communicate with your higher self if you need to and gain the information that you need because out outside influences can certainly create a lot of havoc. So um, I feel like you're going to be overwhelmed there once the baby arrives because there's going to be so much energy and so many people just like, hey, you know, do this and do that and oh, don't do that. And, you know, it's, we all went through it, baby. <laughs> it is something that, you know, we just have to go through. But that's what I'm really getting for you. And it's someone of authority that may stress you out that, and it, it, this could even be about you needing to protect the, you know, cut your mom out and I'm sorry, or cut out an authority, a figure. It doesn't have to be a mom. It could be a father. It could be a guardian, could be anybody, but you having to, you know, maybe like create some boundaries and, uh, you know, say, Hey, no. This is my baby and I'm going to do it my way. And I appreciate you and I appreciate your advice and all that, but I know what I'm doing. Just give me a chance, right? So I don't know, Capricorn, take it how it resonates. Remember that number three is important as well as four and five. So there's steps here. You're definitely going through it um, with all of this. There's a lot to it. There's a lot to having a baby for sure. Let's see what else for Capricorn, please, Spirit. What else for Capricorn? Thank you. Capricorn. Thank you. Okay, Capricorn, let's see here. Indication. Watch for signs that lead you to true love. 
So Spirit is saying, watch for signs, synchronicities, listen to your body. Remember, we were talking about this in the beginning. When your body says, Capricorn, slow down, take a break. Listen, pay attention to those signs of synchronicities and um, what you're doing. Take real good care of yourself. Let's see here. Uh, be your own magic for Capricorn. This is definitely your true love right here in your hopes, dreams, and fears. This is definitely your true love as a baby. Maybe being a mom or a parent. Mom, dad, parent. It doesn't, you know. A baby. That's what you want. Ooh. Number 41 reduces to a five. So there's four fives now. Definitely look at that. Four, fives. Three, four, and five are your numbers. Sundress, do it for you. Do it for you. Take it easy. Nurture yourself. Get out into the sun. Do those things that you need to do for yourself. Take real good care of you. She's really soaking up that sun. Do the things that bring you joy. There's a lot of changes coming your way for sure. All those fives. All right, Spirit, what should Capricorn be mindful of as they go through this? What should they be mindful of as they go through this time? What should they be mindful of, Capricorn? Capricorn. Watch out for those synchronicities. Watch out for those numbers, three, four, fives. Those could be um, highly significant for you right now. We're going to pull some charms here in a moment, too. So those could be something that you'll need to... Uh, be mindful of and pay attention of what's going on. If you should start seeing them, what do we have here? Oh, we've got two releases, two releases. And like I was saying, in the end, you may have a lot of conflict, a lot of struggle, a lot of um, energy coming in at you, trying to tell you what to do. And you may have to guard yourself and there's a releasing. Now you may get very angry. You may get very upset. You may even already be feeling all these because, like I said, you get all those hormones, you know, all of that. But you've got double release. So there's a need to release, to take care of yourself, to nurture yourself. Remember that Rowan, um, Rowan to protect yourself. So release it. That Don't let that anger build up, right? It says anger is a natural emotion, but I recognize that holding on to it can be toxic for me. I look at the person who has caused me pain and see them as a human being they are. I release the anger I feel and free myself, freeing myself and expanding to love. So if you are struggling with like a person of authority that like a mom, a parent, whatever coming in, trying to tell you how to do your own thing with your own baby or whatever, um, and you're, you've got a lot of anger and all that. Do what you can to release that. Do some kind of anger releasing ritual or go outside, get in the sun, meditate, close your eyes, um, you know, become mindful of your aware, um, your surroundings and just, you know, release that anger. And then you've got release. Today, I release limiting beliefs, harmful thoughts, toxic patterns, and anything out of alignment. I am ready for transformation and welcome this shift. I am creating space for a new chapter filled with love, abundance, and amazing opportunities. So release. This could be about those strongholds, those authority figures, and their insight, their beliefs, their, hey, do this, do this, do this, that kind of stuff. could be about that, releasing that. Letting them know, you know, standing up for yourself and um, letting them know, hey, you did this, and now I'm going to do it. You raised me well. I can do this. Give me, uh, let me do this, right? Let me do this. All right, so let's get you some charms, Capricorn. This is very exciting. If this resonates with you, I'd love to hear about it. So please do let me know in the comments. And also, if it resonates with you, you like the reading and anything, please hit the um, subscribe button as well as all those bells so you can be notified when I upload new content. Okay, so what do we have? Oh, definitely going through a birth, a rebirth, a transformation. We have the skull. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. This could be also an indication of October. You have those number fives. Those are all about change. And when I think of change, I think of October. So this could be about, you could be due in October or something like that. Or you could be, you know, thinking October things, um, 
but October could be a very significant time for you. You've also got the butterfly. Now, butterflies are new beginnings. They're abundant. They're blessings. They, they bring messages. So you've got the butterfly signifying a brand new beginning. So butterflies, they're also connected to the empress. So um, do take care of yourself right now. And last but not least, you've got the four leaf clover. Number four, again, look at that four little, I'm trying to get this where you can see it. There you go. Four little um, hearts on this. So the number four again, but this is about abundance and prosperity. So if you start finding four leaf clovers, wow. Let me know. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to get going. Until next time, take great care of yourself. And as always, may your love and kindness boomerang back to you. Bye-bye.